everyone, Sharon here with Max Senior. It's Saturday and I'm supposed to be out getting video for my next uh, Max Senior on the road, but I'm going to be having surgery next Thursday on my knee, so I'm sort of homebound. But I thought, well, I could make a video tutorial. And you know how they say if you want to learn something, teach it? Well, I want to learn the new operating system for iOS 9. And I know that it's probably a lot like 8, but I also know that Apple always puts all kinds of good things in their upgrades every time they do an upgrade, whether it's their Mac or their iOS devices. So I want to learn that, and I decided that I would start with the user guide, the iOS 9 user guide. So that's I'm going to do a series of videos, and I hope you'll come with me, and I hope it'll be fun for both of us. So the first thing we need is the user guide, and um, if you don't have that, you need to go to the App Store, and then you, in the search bar, you need to say iBooks. And then once you get the iBooks um, application, you're going to want to open it up. Now you may have it on your um, on your computer. So if you go to if you press F4 or go to Mission Control, this is what you'll see all of your icons. And then if it's there, you can just click on it. So I just did that, and I already had it, and so I opened it up to show you. Now on this side of the page it shows all the different iPhones that this book uh, explains. And then over on this side I want you to pay um, close attention to this picture and look at all the different categories and, and make sure that you recognize what each button is for on your phone, front and back. Now. Um, this, let me go back, this is a side-by-side -side view showing you um, that on the iPhone 6, the sleep on-off button is on the side. And on the iPhone 5S and older versions, it's on the top. So that's one of the changes that was made when the iPhone 6 came out. Okay, so I just want you to look at all the different buttons and make sure that you know what they are. And you can see here that the, the two phones are pretty much the same. There's been um, a change, like we said, in the sleep on off button. And there's been uh, <clears throat> and something added here at the bottom. It's My screen is blurry and I can't see it real well, but you'll be able to compare. I want you to notice also how there's always um, in blue, there's links that you can click on that will take you to a more thorough um, understanding of each one of these um, uh, accessories. And so just read, read about each one. And, um, and then I want to say that I've never ejected my SIM card, and you very well may never do that either. Um, this is used mostly for people who travel to different countries and they get the SIM card and put it in. And this is the multi-touch uh, screen information. It's showing you what to do with your fingers on your touch screen. Um, spread it to make the picture bigger and that sort of thing. When it comes to this page, this is something new and I tried doing what it said and I didn't get the result they talked about. So I have a one-to-one -one personal training coming up this uh, week and I'm going to ask about this because I know that it's user error. I'm the one that's doing something wrong so I'll find out about this page and I'll make an addendum uh, in my next report. Okay? <laughs> okay, so um, this is just more things for all of us to read about Apple Pay and um, just all, all kinds of information. And some of it may be interesting to you because of the way you use the device, and some of it may not. And I encourage you to skip the parts that don't apply to you and your needs. So right now I'm just going through all of the pages in um, this first chapter. And <clears throat> you might want to get into looking 
uh, more into passcodes and data protection, if that's of interest to you. And um, when it talks about double clicking the home button, um, it doesn't say here, but when you swipe up on those apps, it closes them. And um, I think it's important to do that once in a while, depending on how many apps you open in a week. Okay, so, gosh, you guys, this is probably a <laughs> boring video for you, but I think it's important that we know our devices. And really, this, this little booklet that is free to all of us, and we can just download it and put it onto our um, devices, is really like carrying around a little um, dictionary with you. It'll, it'll tell you the answers to a lot of questions. Yeah, this is probably going to be the most interesting to you, the uh, photos and videos. It's certainly the most interesting to me. And the Do Not Disturb, um, you might want to learn how to use that. I have my Do Not Disturb set for uh, between 9 at night and 7 in the morning. I don't want to be disturbed unless it's by someone in my favorites list, which are my children and my husband and those people that are very close to me. So this this is uh, talking about the status bar. Um, and a lot of this information, I personally don't have any um, any interest in going into deeper. Uh, I do like knowing what the little icons look like and what, what they're for, the Wi-Fi icon and um, the do not disturb, the little moon. You need to know if that's on. You're not getting, um, you're not getting your messages or your calls. And location services is real important to have on so you can use Find My Phone in case you lose it. And so that's, that's the last page in the chapter. And I hope you'll read it. I hope you'll look at the extra information, the links that it gives you to learn it more thoroughly. And I guarantee if you do this, you're going to know more about your phone than your kids. And won't that be great? <laughs> so until next time, until the next chapter, this is Sharon saying thanks for watching. Bye-bye.